Molden also suggests meeting in a public place and letting a friend know where you'll be and when you're expected to be back. That way you still have control over the date. For E! News, I'm Fallon Wagner. RCMP say only 5% of victims report falling prey to online fraud. They say they're often embarrassed and don't want to go to the authorities. Service Alberta encourages victims of fraud or someone who thinks they could be scammed to contact police right away. Isabel says she'd attend another navigating conference in a heartbeat. She says it truly shows how much potential youth have to make a difference. For WW7B, I'm Fallon Wagner. With dancers coming from all across the province, it would be easy to judge them as a whole. But that's the great thing about the Great Canadian Dance Challenge. The dancers are judged on performance, how long they've been performing, and age. Only on Shaw TV. Whether it's local news, sports, or entertainment, we've got it right here for you on Shaw TV. Welcome to today's edition of the show. I'm your host, Fallon Wagner. Let's take a look at the stories we've got lined up for you today. We take a look at how Lethbridge College is encouraging girls to live a healthy lifestyle. Find out how you can get involved in this weekend's Gift of Life Run and Walk. Even still, like you don't, you can just come down and enjoy the day. And find out what moves the Lethbridge Hurricanes made in the recent Phantom Draft. All that and more straight ahead on Shaw TV. One, two, three, four. For the West Wind Cheer Force Elite, cheerleading isn't just yelling and shaking pom-poms. The team practices dancing, tumbling, stunting, and most importantly, understands the importance of teamwork. The head coach for the local squad says movies often portray the sport inaccurately. There's a lot of misconceptions in movies and stuff. They don't often show the background so much, the coaches, the administration aspects of it. But it also doesn't show all the truth in competition. It's not always as serious and it's not always as simple as they make it seem. The Cheer Force Elite squad is split up into two teams based on age. The girls practice twice a week and have competed across Western Canada. Stacy Smoleski, a senior cheerleader, says the sport can be challenging but is worth the payoff. I like the push to like work hard. You need to be really committed uh, for a team and it's a lot of fun. Ferris says she believes the sport is slowly gaining more popularity. There just there's not been a lot of interest, a lot of powerful interest for quite a lot of years, but it's growing again. Right now, the girls are practicing their back walkovers, and that looked a little too tough for me, but I still wanted to get in on the action, so I got them to show me something a little bit simpler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a feeling the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders won't be calling me anytime soon. If you're interested in registering for cheerleading, contact the West Wind Gymnastics Club. For Shaw TV, I'm Fallon Wagner. Two weeks ago, a 19-year-old boy was hit by a train when walking home. Police believe the resident of Leduc was hit from behind. Eight days later, a 27-year-old man was hit by a locomotive near Banff. With similar incidents in a short time span, it seems younger generations may not understand the dangers of trains. This young woman grew up in a small Alberta town with tracks running through it. She says it took a serious accident to realize the potential threat. This is our main highway, so the tracks were like along here. Growing up at home and at school, they always told us to um, stay away from the tracks because they're so dangerous and we didn't know the effect of them until there was an accident and then it scared us even more. CP Rail representative Kevin Hersack says safety is the company's number one priority. We do take this uh, very seriously. Uh, you know, the, the two incidents that were involved on our lines were unfortunately uh, not at crossings uh, and on our property uh, where individuals were walking uh, on the tracks. You know, it's definitely uh, something that we're looking into uh, and trying to help get the word out a little stronger. Uh, Police suggest all of the accidents could have been avoided. The victims were reportedly wearing headphones and using electronic devices while walking on the tracks. It is believed their music was so loud it drowned out the sound of squealing brakes and horns. With newer technology, trains are quieter than ever before. Trains can also extend a meter or more beyond the track. For E! News, I'm Fallon Wagner. Home renters beware! Service Alberta is warning new renters and students to be aware of rental scams. They say to look out for warning signs before you sign legal agreements or a check, saving you a lot of headaches and money. 
I looked into the potential dangers of renting. Outdoor workers are being hit with trade-related challenges other than snow, with near record high temperatures. Gabrielle Marchand took a look at what comes with balmy weather and breezes. Thanks, Gabby. More residents' information is available at lethbridgecollege.ca. After the break, it's celebrity suit fitting and an everyday inspiration closing a chapter in journalism. Lethbridge College staff and students said goodbye to a longtime instructor this week. Print journalism instructor Darcy Cavanaugh has announced his retirement after nearly 30 years with the college. Cavanaugh says that he was going, will be going back to his previous love and life, travel journalism. A party was thrown in the Endeavor newspaper room where Cavanaugh spends most of his time instructing. He says that it's the little things that his students take away from him after he is gone that make him happy. And, you know, and I expect most students won't remember me at all, but if one time down the line they're in a job and they remember one little piece of advice I gave them, doggone, that's sort of cool. That's about as good as it gets in life, I think. Kavanaugh started as an instructor at the college in 1984. We're all going to miss him. Well, that's it for E! News on Global. Have a good night.